Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. One of the most commonly used yet completely false assumptions of proof that we live on a globe is watching ships disappear from the hull up as they go off over the horizon. First, the bottom will disappear. See, the bottom of the ship is gone. Now we can see midway up and then the whole thing disappears. Now ships came back, they didn't fall off a table. So people realized that the world is curved. I mean, it's a big curve, but it's curved. So the process of testing claims, the world is flat, the world is round, is what we call science. You may have heard people claiming that roads and rows of pylons appearing to bend down towards the horizon in the distance are also proof of curvature. And of course, we all know that sunsets are supposed to be because the earth is turning and we are watching the sun go down behind a curve. However, it can be easily demonstrated that these assumptions are merely descriptions to fit the narrative that we are on a spinning ball earth. And the science is the same of that of a lens. Here's a simple example. The atmosphere really is like acting like a lens. Yes. When in fact all of these observations can be made over a flat surface across a very short distance, which is what we'll see here, looking along this road on top of a dam. This is a straight stretch of road across the top of the dam and then the road goes around the reservoir. Looking at it from Google Earth, I measured the distance from where I was stood with the camera to where it starts to turn off around the rest of the lake and we got 650 meters so just over half a kilometer not very far at all so by putting the camera on the ground we get a similar perspective to that of someone standing on the shore watching a ship go off into the distance across the sea keeping in mind that while any surface in nature can be flat it will always be rugged and never completely smooth like an artificial surface. So first off we can see this optical phenomenon going on with the railings which is exactly the same as what is seen in photographs of the causeway and the power lines going across Lake Pontchartrain in the United States uh, with the claim that this is proof of curvature uh, when in fact we can see exactly the same thing happening here with these railings. We are below the railings and they appear to bend down towards this band of convergence. The yellow line is the camera's eye level and the camera's quite level now so we can see that there is this band of convergence above what appears to be this horizon line of the surface. But this horizontal line is not where the surface begins to curve away from us in any way. It is just as far as we can see from this low perspective before the surface beyond it begins mirroring. And I'll have you watch carefully because things get interesting. And as we super zoom in, we can actually watch where the waterline is. And how do we know that? Well, look at the reflection behind it. Again, it does get better. We're gonna start seeing lots of birds and the birds are going to be the key to knowing where that water line is. I'll draw the water line again here. Keep an eye on it. And you saw the bird take off from the water. And that's why you see a reflection just like the reflection of the sail. Here comes a bird here. I drew the water line for you and you'll see the reflection of the bird as he goes into the water. Start to keep an eye on these birds. You're going to see them left and right. Here comes another one. Did you see that one? Leaving on the right hand side. Rewind it if you need to. And that is the water line. So again, there is no boat behind any curvature. There's a lot more water that we can't see. And that boat, which looks like a sail, is not a sail at all. That's simply a sail and then its own reflection. Again, the boat at this point is plenty far away. It is hard to see. It is becoming distorted. We can see that that item is reflecting off that water line, which means the sails are a reflection and the boat is simply camouflaged or hidden behind that. 
Nothing is behind any curvature of any Earth at all. Even with a relatively high perspective above the ground, we soon get this mirroring and convergence. And we'll see as we bring the camera down that the apparent horizon, that hard line of the surface, will come closer to us. The lower we go, the closer the horizon over a flat surface. The surface is still there, sorry about the camera, but it is now mirroring. And as we lift the camera up again, we'll see the mirroring receding and going back into the distance. I'll bring the camera down again and we'll see the horizon come rushing towards us as the surface beyond it mirrors instead of showing us the actual surface. This is why some people will claim that there is a drop in the horizon over distances and that the surface does not appear to rise to eye level when in fact it does and the horizon is always at eye level at any height. However, there is this band of convergence and mirroring just below eye level. So when we look across a vast ocean or across a blanket of clouds from high above, uh, we eventually see this convergence, but there is no background color like there is here with the trees. So we just get this transparent band making the apparent horizon of the surface appear lower than eye level making it appear as if there is a drop in the horizon when the surface is still there, but it has just become blurred and transparent in our vanishing point. So again, as we bring the camera down, we can see here that the horizon gets closer across this flat surface, and everything beyond it becomes swallowed up in this uh, mirroring and convergence. The railings go back to looking straight again as we gain more height and the lamp posts and the railings are now following the laws of perspective but as we go down the railings get swallowed up in this band. As this cyclist rides off into the distance across this flat surface, we'll see the same phenomenon that we observe with ships going off into the distance and assumed to be going down a curve, when in fact we can see that his feet and wheels are now disappearing, but he is also being mirrored by the surface. So we have the surface mirroring half of that, and the actual rider still on the surface and being observed even though we cannot see his lower half very clearly. And as he gets further away there will be this kind of separation of the two and we are left with just this top half that seems to be floating uh, above this band of convergence or mirroring from the surface. And this, we will see in a moment, is what we actually see at sunset. We see the sun not going down below this apparent horizon of the surface, but we see first this mirroring, and then as it gets further away, it just disappears just like the cyclist. I'm going to raise the camera and the cyclist will pop back into view even though he's on a flat surface. There he is. And you'll watch him go round the corner to the left.
in a second. So this shows that giving ourselves a little extra height over a flat surface will allow us to see a sunset twice. We don't have to be looking down the curve of a ball. There's going to be an arrow that pops up here. And I'm going to show you right where this arrow points is where the true horizon line is. This is the sun reflecting off the water that's past that water line. That is your true horizon line. And as the sun sinks, or appears to sink, it's not really sinking. But what I want you to do is pay close attention to the size of the sun right now, and watch how it blends into its own reflection. It's basically going to disappear into its own reflection. It's going to get smaller within its own reflection. People say that, you know, oh, if the... If the earth was flat, well, you would see the sun get smaller and smaller and smaller. Well, when it gets to this point, it does get smaller. Um, now, what you'll see is right here, this is where the magic's going to begin. Because if you watch it, on each side, it's going to actually get smaller. It is blending into its own reflection. And you don't notice this standing on a shore. Because most of us, again, we are just in awe of such a beautiful sunset. Um, now, with the camera zoomed in, everything does go black around the sun. And it looks like a black hole. Um, and all the light is in the center of that black hole. Uh, so it ain't really a black hole, it's a light hole. And I, I put out a different video, um, and I think I called it Window into Heaven, and I actually showed this, but I didn't really even notice it myself back then. But now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another arrow here. Um, it was a little windy that day, but um, I waited till my uh, till this video settled down a little bit. And I put another arrow here to show you where that actual horizon line is. It is there. So what you're actually what you're actually seeing is the sun is shrinking into its own reflection. And nobody realizes this. Nobody sees this. Now, at uh, the point that I put um, right about here, actually, is I used the zoom tool. Um, I took that uh, portion of the video from that point to the end of this, to this next transition. And I used the zoom tool and I zoomed in on it. And I wanted to give you a close-up view and a slow motion view of that sun. Now this is the sun and it's going to slowly disappear. It's going to do a magic act. It's going to do an illusion. It's going to deceive you because it is going to disappear, but it's going to disappear into the atmosphere. Just like some of my boats that I show that get out to a certain point in the horizon, it disappears back into that mirage, that glass area, that mirroring area, that area that mirrors the sky. So, again, I'm presenting this to you as my proof. And again, I don't expect anybody to believe me. They don't have to believe me. But this is what I see. So, I've got this thing slowed way down. And this is what I want you to see. How this is working. And how... Where below this, you can see the visible water line, but up above, or above that water line, you can tell that that is a mirroring of the sky. And this is mirrored from the top to the bottom. If you split that in half, it's just mirroring the sun slowly fading away. Now, I am not a professional photographer, but I think that my videos is going to prove to your own eyes 
what actually happens to the sun. It is a deception.